Hello, I hope you're well. I'm back in Paris. August in Paris is such a vibe. The city feels super empty. Of course, there are some tourist groups now, but I feel like most of the people living here are on vacation. So it's like Paris in sleepy, sleep mode. A lot of the cafes and restaurants are closed the whole month. Munich was fun though. I enjoyed going to the M, the German drugstore, every day. And I also did some secondhand shopping, which is, I feel like, really nice. In Germany, of course, it's overpriced, like vintage shopping in general is. But the conditions are always amazing. And I feel like in the bigger cities, people, of course, come, for example, to Paris also to shop and in smaller cities like Munich you have the opportunity to find more pieces I feel like it's not so overflown with like people who look for vintage pieces. Philemon is still in Munich and I'm by myself. I always loved being by myself and I always needed some time for myself since I was a kid. I really enjoyed listening to like audiobooks and just like being in my room and like drawing stuff and I feel like I haven't changed. I'm still the same. I listen to my podcasts and just um, organizing my makeup this weekend. It was like so chill. I feel like I really need to, re to have these moments to recharge by myself. It can be just like going through magazines but also being on TikTok and doing nothing, like sometimes I just need this. I have to show you something so cool. Look what I got. This is the Isamaya lipstick. This has been on my wish list forever. Isn't this the coolest lipstick ever? And the color is like a black, but it's super sheer. But the thing in general is heavy. I'm obsessed with it. Anyways, back to the topic of being by myself. I grew up in the German countryside, like really, like not even in the village. It was like a forest and it was a house in the forest. It was a beautiful childhood. I was super, super lucky. But I also remember like the desperation of being bored. I love playing in the forest and I built like fairy houses and everything. But I feel like I was bored a lot when I was a kid. And I think it was really good for creativity because of course, when you're bored, you're trying to find, you, you have to try to find solutions to not be. <laughs> I remember, for example, one time my dad had a video camera and I was by myself. So I really wanted to play with it and to make a video. I took the camera and I thought about what I could film. I remember being so desperate about not having a topic and I was like, oh, it's so boring here. I can't even like film something. And then I remember having the idea of doing the concept around the video of how bored I was. So I made a video about how boring it was for me to live in this forest. I wish I still had it. I don't. I'm obsessed with this Tom Ford contour palette. This is called Shade and Illuminate. Look, it's so beautiful. It's Saturday today. I had such a chill morning. It was raining and I took like a long, the longest shower. I love listening to podcasts when I'm by myself. I'm obsessed with Forbidden Fruits by Julia Fox and Nikki Tikash. I hope I pronounce it right. But yeah, Julia Fox in general, I really love her. She's so funny. I know the influence, I know the impact, and I know the vibes. And the girlies love the vibes, and that's just what it's about. I also listen to High Low, Emily Ratajkowski's podcast, and Call Her Daddy sometimes. My latest song obsession is Schmetterling by Baby Benz. Such a cool song. It's like the genre is hyper pop, and I really. I'm obsessed with her music. A friend of mine, she started a podcast, it's called Letter Laterally, and it's so good. It's in between fashion and psychology. I'm so obsessed with it. I listened to some of the episodes like several times on in, in the loop because I feel like it's such a nice balance between being like very deep and almost overthinking things, which I can <laughs> very much relate to. She puts it in a very like, how do I explain it, like contemporary, relevant perspective. 
So it's super interesting like, to listen to her thoughts. For example, one of the episodes is the role of creative directors in the age of media fame or the propaganda around sustainability in fashion. I'm obsessed with her. She's doing amazing. My favorite highlighter at the moment, like I love Dior highlighters in general, but this, this one, this rosy goldish is my vibe at the moment. Can you hear this? Silence. No, I just wanted to get a coffee here. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, off to the next. I woke up to such a sweet message this morning and this is actually one of my favorite things about posting on the internet is realizing to have a community of people that care about the same things. Like sometimes I forget people are watching my videos and then I get a message like this morning. She did send me an item she found on Vestia because it made her think of me and I think it's just the cutest thing ever to imagine like we all care about the same things and have the same interests like this is so cool I went to OFR this morning and I didn't buy anything I'm proud to be honest also I'm always a bit scared <laughs> to film there because they don't like people taking pictures there and I respect it to a certain degree because to be fair, I'm spending all of my money there always. So I feel like it's okay if I secretly film like a little clip from my YouTube, right? I'm like the biggest cheerleader. But in general, I understand that it can be really annoying when people just take pictures of the magazines and don't buy them. So buy magazines. My biggest flex is getting my absolute favorites lip products sent and even with my name engraved isn't this insane oh sean is calling me hello i have continued watching sex in the city the new series needless to say it's not comparable in any ways to the old one but i feel like it gets a bit better towards the end girl dinner picnic i just did this to impress you but i'm obsessed with figs and cheese at the moment i will definitely link you the podcasts i talk talked about in the description box and also playlists maybe oh there's one playlist it's like super chill music and i love to listen to it while editing for example i just worked on the vlog i also wanted to show you what i got in munich i found the most amazing vintage dior heels oh my god i'm so <laughs> obsessed with these i'm quite sure they are from 2004 and you know what happened to me the first time I wore these? Munich is definitely not kitten heel proof. I got stuck in the floor between the stones with this heel and like really stuck. I wasn't able to lift it up again. A man that worked for a rest for the restaurant, because I was standing in front of the restaurant, so everybody stared at me and I was like standing there on one leg trying to balance barefoot. And this man had to help me first pull out my heel from the floor and then this little thing kept on being stuck so he he came with a big knife and he tried to dig it out and it took I'm sure like more than five minutes and it was super embarrassing but thank god the heel has healed 
I wore them with my Undeliminist dress, which is a nice contrast, like the white silk and then this like punk vibe. But I think they could also be cool with jeans, just like very simple. Then I also found a jacket. This one, it's Rick Owens and it's so cozy. It was quite cold in Munich, so I already did wear it a lot. I'm hearing you about the room tour. I have to think about how I could do this because I love my apartment so much but it would be kind of a short video as the apartment isn't that big to be honest and <laughs> it's actually like really small. We both live and work here which means all of our stuff is around in the living room slash kitchen slash bathroom. We have like a wall with all like ideas and notes and whatever so it's quite impossible to film the room without it. Yeah, I have to think about how I, how I could do this. But I hear you. And it's not you, it's me. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Please like and subscribe. Honestly, it would be very rude if you wouldn't. And I will see you very soon. Thank you and peace.